Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be removing my five week old nails, possibly even six week old. I've not kept track. I just know that they definitely need to come off and get ready for a redesign. So this is the essential e-files bit and it's available on my website. It's got everything you need to kind of start off with your e-file essentials from prep, removal, debulking, shaping, all of that good stuff. So I'm going to take the 4XC bit and we're going to go ahead and remove this design. So let's have a quick look at the growth so far. I have got no lifting whatsoever. I haven't got any missing stones or gems or anything like that. We simply just need an infill and redesign and I wanna do something a little bit Christmassy. I'm gonna do that in a separate video. So this video is simply just for how to remove your acrylic nails using an e-file. If you only have a hand file, you can do it that way as well. Just be prepared to be working for a long, long time before i got my e-file i used to just hand file mine down and boy did it take me a long time it is possible it just takes time um so yeah coming in on the medium speed and we're going to go ahead and remove that acrylic you want to apply a medium pressure with the forex course bit and make sure that you are moving around the nail. You don't want to hold the bit or the e-file in one place because if you do hold it in one place, what that's going to do is cause heat to build up and you'll get a quite a shock or your client will get quite a shock. So you always want to be moving around and working over all of the nail, not just one area. Just a quick reminder as well, I'm going to be popping my eyewear back on. I did have it on and then I took it off because I went to go and sort out the kids. But yeah, definitely important to wear some protective eyewear when e-filing. So I'm using the safety specs from my website and especially when clipping off stones as well and nail art because it's you know you just don't know where they can fly or if you ping something in your eye. You need to look after those babies, you don't get any new ones and seeing is definitely an important factor. You don't want to be having any damage to your eyes. Um, so I'll link those down below. Also for a secret giveaway as well, if you've got this far and you are still watching, please head to the description box um, to enter the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away an essential e-files bit and some safety specs as well so it's a huge prize um super valuable to those that will use it. obviously if you're not going to use e-file bits pointless entering i'm going to do some other giveaways as well and keep them not secret but you know what i'm saying just within so i don't get any spam or just random people trying to hack my giveaways because i want them to be for you guys and i want to keep doing them in my videos like that so it's kind of just between us and the people that properly are watching and invested in my content because I appreciate it so much. So yeah, check the description for the giveaway. So I went ahead and removed all of the stones and filed off this nail. Also I want to note that the cuticle nippers that I'm using to remove those stones were super old and ones that I do not use anymore to remove the cuticle or any dead skin or anything like that. They are simply dedicated for kind of pincering off nail art and things like that. So this is where I'm at. I've prepped my nails and we are ready to add our clear base. I've spritzed them down with the safe scrub which is going to remove any bacteria um, and also dehydrate the nail plate as well, ready for a primer. I just wanted to show you guys as well, this is our dish, our the dish, and she is absolutely stunning. She's not fully clean. I've literally just used it. I've literally emptied it out. Probably should have washed it to show you guys, but yeah, she is absolutely stunning. A large weighted dappen dish with a lid. Perfect. And yeah, I just wouldn't be without it. 
We've got two styles on the website, this one and then the kind of one with the crystal top. They're both fabulous, but this one is by far my absolute favourite. And then I'm going to be using this brush, which is absolutely stunning, size 12, kind of my go-to size. I have been using the size 14 magic stick for a little bit as well, which I am enjoying as well. But yeah, I'm going to be using the 12 pastel pink aqua brush in this one. So I'm going to come in with my Pro Bond Acid Nail Primer and we're just going to apply that to the area where we have the growth. You don't need to, need to apply it over where the acrylic is already over the nail because all we're doing is priming the natural nail that's visible. Now I'm going to come in with crystal clear acrylic and I'm applying a medium to small bead at the cuticle, pushing it from side to side, blending it into the existing acrylic that we already have on the nail and then I'm going to make sure that the cuticle area is sealed in and flush. So I'm basically going to do that on all of the nails and continue that process and this is how I do an infill for a redesign. So I'll file off that acrylic design down to my clear base, I'll infill the clear base, I will then come in and file that so that it's thin, you don't want a super thick clear base adding any bulk, um, it doesn't need to do that, it's not for strength or bulk or anything like that, it's just to add that layer of the nail so that you can come and file back down to it on the next redesign. It also does help promote adhesion to the nail so you haven't got glitter on the natural nail causing any issues or anything like that. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Hopefully it's a fun video for you guys. I thought it was good to film. I wasn't initially going to because I was like, nobody wants to see it. But I was like, you know what, somebody might, like somebody might need to see this video and it might help somebody out, so hopefully it does. But yeah, this is what I mean when I say adding a clear base so that we can file back down to it for a redesign. If that helps you out, then please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for weekly nail videos. Hopefully I'm back now. If you didn't know, I am pregnant and we are expecting our third baby, but it hasn't been easy. I've been super exhausted, so I'm just trying to get some content out for you guys and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, hopefully I can keep and stay being consistent now. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the pinky nail and then that is it for the clear base. Like I said, I will come in and hand file it, make sure everything is nice and thin and already sealed in at the cuticle before coming in and applying my design. Um, I think that's everything for this video because I just wanted to keep it simple, to the point and kind of informational. Hopefully it helped. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, please remember that you are bomb.com, lit as fuck. And don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Bye.